Deprive you of your sleep. Really just, just go upstairs, okay? Oh. Okay. And where are you coming from? Huh? What are you still doing awake? And what's wrong with that one? Why are you now coming home? It's almost midnight. <sighs> My dear. You know, my office, this and that, it, 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 it was crazy today, trust me. I'm really exhausted. What kind of office this and that keeps a married woman from her home at this ungodly hour? Charles, please now. Charles, please now, not again. Ah, ah, you know how it works in the office. Unlike you, I mean, you are the CEO of yourself and you're the boss of yourself. I follow rules. This is not the first, second, nor the third time this month. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Huh? The kids are always asking your whereabouts. Charlie, are you not always with them? Are you not also a parent? If I'm not there, you take care of them. That is why you're a father. What is this though? Please, I beg, I beg. Like you said, it's midnight. I am exhausted. What is it? Okay. Look, I'm talking to you. Oh, please. Neka, I'm not done talking to you. Neka, I'm talking to you. meeting to attend to. Okay? Always with the excuses. Hey, young man, don't talk to me like that. Okay, daddy, I want to go check something in my room. Okay. I am talking to you. Alfred! You know, you are indulging this boy way too much. Mom, I can't take home. He's not been to my school for long. My love, it's okay. Um, listen, mommy will pray time. One of these days I'll pass by your school, okay? But for now, I need to attend to a meeting, all right? Mommy loves you so much, all right? Mm. Love you, baby. Ouch! I have to get going, all right? I'll see you later. Mommy loves you, all right? Typical. Daddy, why doesn't mommy like coming to my school, please? Mommy loves coming to your school. She's just busy at work, okay? How about this? Daddy will come watch his babies play, okay? That's good. Um, Alfred! Alfred! We have to get going, Alfred. You're, you're gonna run late to school. Okay, Daddy. 
this. I'm not happy you are leaving me now. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Abba, the day is still very young. I want to have more. <laughs> oh. Um, Chief, it's very tempting, but I have to get home. I want to be home before my kids get back. Man, is a very beautiful woman. You should respect a she, don't you think so? Interesting. Oh. <laughs> In fact, you are very beautiful. Just like an angel. I really had a nice time, but I really have to get home, okay? Okay. But make sure you call me when you get home. I will. Right. And don't call me. Let me call you. Alright? Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to get my shoes. <laughs> wow, that was fun. That was surprise. Oh my girl! Oh, my baby girl. How are you, M mommy? Daddy took pictures, lots and lots of pictures, lots and lots of pictures, and you are gonna show mommy, right? This that's my girl, Freddie. Why are you squeezing your face? Your mommy's here. You know what? Go upstairs, drop your bag, and come back. I got your favorite. Pizza and ice cream. Yay, ice cream. Yes, ice cream. My doll. Friends, Dad already took us to dinner. I want to go do my homework. But I... I uh, Mommy, ice cream. Yeah. Our first favorite is hamburger and fries. It is Diana oh. loves pizza and ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. I mean, how's I supposed to know? Mommy, ice cream. I know, my bubble. Mm -hmm. Okay, come here, my girl. No, let me have, hold up, hold up. Mommy is here for you. Okay, let me have this. And sit down, my baby. You want ice cream? You're going to drink ice cream. Mm. I forgot that your favorite was hamburger and fries. I thought you liked pizza and ice cream. Mom, I just want to do my homework. I want to do my assignment. I can see that. Okay, listen. I will make it up. How about we go out on a date this Friday? I mean, this weekend. We go out, just the the both of us. How about that? Well, Mom, I said I want to do my homework. Okay, fine. You know what? Make sure you save the date. Because we have a date this Friday. Just you and I. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just you and I, okay? Be in your best outfit. And wait for me before I come back from work. I don't want to look for you, okay? Friday this weekend. Just you and I. Okay, I love you, Sam. Oh, <laughs> Always promising someone, promising and fail.
God's pole. I'm sure she's stuck in traffic. Let's go inside and freshen up, okay? Okay. Let's go. Alright guys, daddy wants to make dinner. Yay, can I please have a special dinner like mommy and friend are having? Is that what you want? Daddy got you. You know dinner with you is so special. Freddy? Yes, dad. You want me to make something for you? I'm not hungry. I just want to go to bed now. Where are you from? You scared me. What are you doing here? Oh, the traffic was sickening. I think a trailer blocked the road. You needed to see the way they were just, you know, moving and swinging. It was crazy. Look at the time a married woman and a mother is coming home from work. Well, I do not have the superpowers to control traffic. You should be ashamed of yourself. Being a mother is not just about birthing someone. Oh, please, 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 hold it right there. Enough of this. Enough of your judgmental and self-righteous disposition. What is it? Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of sitting in your morality throne of yours? Aren't you tired? Alfred has been sitting all evening waiting for you. You promised him your time and dinner. And because it's not important to you, you forgot about it. I forgot. I, I honestly forgot. I forgot. You're meant to put your family first. Is that too much to ask? If you know you can't keep a promise, stop making them. And stop breaking their hearts. Why are you not 
not sleeping. What's happening? It's nothing, okay? Just go back to sleep. But I can't. Mom and Dad are fighting again. You know what I want you to do now? Just cover your ear, close your eyes, and go to sleep. Sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't meet up with our date. Listen, yesterday I was I was really busy. I had a lot to do at the office and I I lost track of time. But I promise you, mommy mommy's promising you that she will make it up. I will make it up, okay? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, is, is there anything the matter? Wait, what? Your mother's supposed to pick them up from school. Okay, um, I'm so sorry. I'll pick them up right away. Thank you.
like seriously? I'm not happy today, Dad. Mom is supposed to come and pick us up from school today. But as always, she doesn't care. Her attitude is repulsive. Now be nice, Alfred. She's still your mother. Will yeah. she come from out to show up the picture I drew of our family? Yes, she will show her, okay? Now both of you go upstairs, freshen up, clean up, so that I will set dinner, okay? Whatever, Dad. Is that what you want? Spaghetti it is then. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. That is going to make you the best spaghetti in the world. Wow, he did. But I'm full. I want to go to my room. Hey, young man. What's with the attitude? Huh? Welcome, Mom. In case you don't know. It's pretty late. So I'm going to bed. Welcome. Alfred. Alfred! Let the boy be. Like he said, it's pretty late. What? You are going to teach my son to disrespect me? I don't need to do that. You're doing it very well on your own. Um, baby, if you're done with your food, you can go to bed. Daddy will clear the table, okay? Okay, then don't yell at mommy. Well, come on, take a high, you little rat. <laughs> um, can you please come with me on a bedtime story after? It's been long you did that. Okay. Good night, baby. Mm -hmm. You coming, all right? So you can be this cold-hearted to turn my kids against me, right? You do very well in your car. A perfect job if you ask me. And you wonder why I don't come home early? Because I don't feel welcomed. Really? You think this excuse is going to fly? We had an agreement that you picked the kids from school because I'm going to be busy at the office. Oh. How could you have left them in the school? How could you? And you come here telling me you wonder why I don't feel welcome in my own home? I, I forgot. You know what? I am sick and tired of making excuses for your shortcomings and negligence. Your family should always come first no matter what. Excuse me. I'll have to make it up to them. Hmm, maybe a day out after my vacation. <laughs> they will forgive me. They're kids after all. My kids.
breakfast is ready. Alfred, keep your phone. This is not crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Um, yes. Daddy knows how to make it the way I like it. Ah, my love, not to worry, okay? Next time I will make it better than your father, okay? And yes, kids, about yesterday, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your school. Why walk again? Ah. <clears throat> Something like that. I just lost track of time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Dad, please, can you pass me some toast? You want more? You haven't finished what you're eating. Alfred, I am trying to apologize, okay? What's the point if it's going to happen again? I promise it won't happen again. Oh, just relax. Okay. This is what's going to happen. I promise to take you guys, I promise to take you guys to school for the next two weeks before I travel. And then when I come back, we're going to go on a family picnic. How about that? You're traveling? I, I didn't tell you. Oh, oh Mecca. I was going to tell you. Actually, my company is having a seminar in two weeks time in Abuja. And um, some employees were picked, and I'm, I'm, I'm amongst them. I, I, it was important that they said I, I must join them. I see. Yes, it's, it's a way to grow and you know promote, give me that promotion that I, I have always wanted. You know how it is. You understand, right? So I have to be there. You said for two weeks. Yes, that was what we were told. Can they follow you? Oh, oh, my love. It's not for kids. And besides, you have school. Hmm? Mommy, buy me something when you're coming back. Absolutely, my love. <clears throat> my, my love. Would you want me to get something for you? No, I'm good. I said I'm good. Mm.
up after school, all right? Okay. Daddy is very busy at work today. Uh, kisses! Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I am tired. Can't you see I'm tired? Your wife is tired. Is that why you hit me like that? If you touch me again, I will blow you. You will blow me? Yes. Listen, I'm not, I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. I am tired and I need to sleep. Come on, it's been a long time. Huh? Oga, rest. Let it rest. I'm going to sleep. What is it? For touching my own wife. You're not a robot. So what, 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 what happens to me now? Rest. Neka, you, you, you have changed a lot. You have changed. Mm. Mr. Consistent, Chairman, CEO, rest. Let me sleep. Is that my food? Yes, sir. Good morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is not right. Um, Alice, I don't know what. There's something wrong with this file. Just check it for me, okay? okay. And make sure you drop the files on the new project before you close of the day. Okay. And schedule a meeting with the marketing team. Cancel all my appointments for today. Sure, sir. Thank you. Hello? Hi, babe. How is your day going? It was fine up until now. Why? What happened? Well, after dropping the kids off this morning, I promised them that I would also pick them up, but... Let me guess, you're about to break that promise. Don't be like that. Something came up. Something like what? Oh, I, I see. Yeah, it's beyond me. So could you please pick the kids instead? Please. But I told you this week is going to be hectic at the office. I know, babe. If you can, could you like move some things around so we don't leave the kids waiting in the school again? Please? <sighs> okay, I'll pick them. Just make sure you get home on time. Bye.
Alice, please come. Cancel the meeting with the marketing team. All right, sir. Reschedule for tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Is that all, sir? Okay. Yes, please. You can go. Fred, I want you to brighten up, okay? Mommy won't be there for long. It's just a week. Mm? I want you two to be nice to daddy, all right? Can't I come with you? Nope, I told you kids aren't allowed. Even if I don't disturb? Oh, please. I won't take long, I promise. Are you sure you've packed everything you need? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Um, you'll be good, right? Ah, uh, yes. When I come back, we'll have our family time. Yeah, we'll go out and spend all day together. Yay! Sounds like fun, right? I'll miss you guys, okay? And take care of yourself for me. Alfred? Okay, when I come back. Alfred, come on, put a smile on your face. You're always squeezing your face. What is... I have to go. You know I can drop you, right? No, it's okay. Don't worry. Oh. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right? Come give me a hug. Oh. All right. Um, bye. See you. bye. No, it's fine. Oh, my car is just outside. I love you all. Okay. Bye. Uh. <laughs> oh. Now that mommy's gone, you both have to take care of me. <laughs> oh, I, so you're smiling now? See, I'm the only one that can get to you. Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? I bite your nose. You got a small nose like my own. <sighs> I hope you guys are enjoying your food. Yes, Dad. Because you're on break from school, I'll come back early, okay? Okay, Dad. Is Auntie Amara coming over? Yes, your mom called her to come over to check on you. Well, I'm 12 and I can't take care of everything in the house. Yes, I know, but we need to indulge your mother so she doesn't get worried over there. And she always does her face like this. Really? Yes, and she finds something to blame us. Come on, guys, she's your aunt. That doesn't stop her from being bossy. I'm late for work. I'll see you guys later. Come back a little early. Okay, princess. I love you guys. Me too. I love you too, Dad. I'm coming. Come, 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 come. Hello, darling. Welcome, Auntie. How are you doing? I'm Where's fine. Diane? She's over there. It's just a while. Why is she in there for no way? Huh? Okay, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, I'll get my
Sammy, my man. Longest time. <laughs> um, nothing much. Surviving, living life. You know how we do. How are you? How's Dubai? Why am I even asking? I know everywhere is stew for you now. But don't stew. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. So, um, are you still coming end of the month, like you said? Nice. Do and come and marry. Come and marry. You have deprived my kids of playmates. Why now? It's not fair. That's on me. Ah, the kids are fine, though. And my wife, she has gone to Abuja for a seminar. Why? Why are you sounding like that? About what? Sammy, talk to me now. What did they happen? Wait, 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 wait. You don't enter Abuja. You don't enter Abuja where you don't tell me. You're crazy. What did they worry you? <laughs> No, that, that's, that, that's not possible. In Dubai, my wife specifically told me that she was going to Abuja for a seminar and she didn't go alone. Sonny, um, oh, what do you mean by that? Please, uh, send them to me. Send them to me. Sammy, um, where, where did you say you saw my wife again? Switched off. I don't want her to come here. Dad, what's wrong? 
This is unlike you. I don't want that to call me. <sighs> Nothing is just a little headache. Was that why you didn't come early last night? Did you go to the doctor? Yeah. Um. That's... Come, come on, Diane. Don't disturb Dad. He's not looking too well. I made cereal and it's on the dining table. Go and eat first, okay? Go. How are you, son? Fine, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> Head and Dodger would do that to you. You know you sound like an old man. But what happened, Dad? What do you mean, what happened? Like, this is the first time I'm seeing you drunk. And you said something like, don't want her to call me again. Dad, who is her? It's nothing, okay? Don't worry about it. That doesn't sound like nothing to me. Like, wait, Dad, are you kidding on mom? Alfred, why would you say something like that? I know mom can be a handful sometimes, but... Listen, I, I can never do something as despicable as that, okay? Okay, dad. It's just... It's just a little problem at the office, but it'll be sorted out. Okay. Okay, Dad. So, there's cereal, and I know you didn't eat last night. So, do you want me to make some for you? No, don't worry. Just go ahead and eat. I'll go upstairs, freshen up, and then get something to eat. Okay, okay Dad. And, Dad, today is Saturday, and Mom is coming back today. Yes, that's what she said. Yeah. Home today. So this is it. Why she's always absent at home and comes back at ungodly hours without remorse. How long has this been going on? How could you neck her? After all the love and care I showed you. God 
damn it. Damn you. Damn you, Rebecca. So what? So juniors. You mean souvenirs? Oh well, did you get them? Oh yes, I. Easy, 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 okay? Yay! Yeah, I, I got a very beautiful dress and it's inside my bag. Yay! Yay, my love! I missed you. <laughs> Hi! Your wife is back! Welcome. Oh, thank you. You're, you're, you're awfully quiet. You must be warned out. Mm-hmm. You have no idea. I mean, they didn't even give, give us time to rest. It was just work, 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 work. It's crazy. Abuja must be very beautiful at this time of the year. That's weird. Abuja is always beautiful all around the year. Listen, I'm jet lagged and I need to rest. Baby, come, 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 don't tell me all about my shit. Baby, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, wow. No, you were actually right. She did travel out of the country. Thank you for telling me. No, not yet. You know, I just realized that this has been going on for a very long time. The late nights, the lies, everything that has been happening. I just didn't think she could cheat on me. I'm not going to do anything. Okay. I am not. Look, I'm just going to get more proof for my case. Then divorce her, 
and make sure she doesn't get anything. Yeah. I have to go. Take care, man. I hid it very well. How did, how did he? How did he know? Did he check my phone? No. He doesn't know my password. He doesn't even check my phone.
Charles, are you okay? You know, you've been awfully quiet since I got back. I want to make love to you. I want to sleep. Wait. I said I want to make love. I am tired. And I'm sure you're tired too. Love to. Oh my goodness, um, my son's birthday is this weekend. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Some opportunity and birthdays can be celebrated every year, right? <sighs> Listen, I'll get back to you before tomorrow. All right, I promise you, I'll get back to you. All right. <sighs> I don't even know what. <sighs> hey, um, babe. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? Can you can you can you help me um set the the dining? I am coming. I'm almost done with the food, so I'll, I'll come dress up. Yeah, dress up the dining. Okay. Yeah, I'll soon be done. Hello, 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 hello. You almost got me in trouble. Yes, you almost put me in trouble. That was a, that was a close one. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll get back to you, like I said before tomorrow, okay? Just, I'll, I'll, I'll call you, I'll call you. something, I would have done it. Honestly. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Come on, I will make it up. Alright, I will buy you the best of gifts. I'll give you the best when I come back, alright? Uh, okay, my boy. You don't have to. Yeah, because last year you weren't here. Still we celebrated. Oh, I mean, that means you're not mad at mommy. 
चलो मर मे राइट हाँ चिरा I've learned not to set my expectations too high. Easy, lion. Come on, I'm still your mother. You don't speak to me in that tone. And someone else from your office, girl. Must it be you? You know I would have given it up if I could. No, oh, mom. Just go. You miss your flight. Oh yes, about that. You are right as always. Um, you know what? Don't worry. Like I said, I will make it up when I come back, and I am going to call Auntie Amara to come. Don't. Okay, okay. Calm down. It's weekend, and Dad is here. You've heard. Just go. Go. Calm down, baby. All right. Don't miss your flight. Mm. Mm. Calm down. Hey baby, come, come, come get mommy a hug. I'm going to miss you, my sugar baby. Mwah. Don't miss mommy too much, okay? I love you, right? And take care of yourself. Bye. She's always missing important dates. It's okay. Always! It's okay. Exactly what it is. Charles, are you are you are you okay? Like, are you normal? Who wakes up in the morning and, and issues his wife a divorce paper out of the blues? If you know what's good for you, sign those papers and leave this house with as much dignity as you can. Charles in the Chris. Mm, you are not normal. You are not sane. Oh, 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 you think I don't know you? You want me to leave this house? So you can bring all those your small, small girls. So that the person will come to this house that I labeled with you for years and come and overtake is impossible. Yes, laugh all you want. Just laugh all and become a comedian. I have come to a comedian. But there is no way I will leave my matrimonial home for no reason. I will not leave this house. You want reasons? Yes, I want reasons. Does Mr. Pascal will come for ring a bell? Surprise. That your secret is out in the open? Who is Mr. Pascal Okafo? Is that a name of an animal or a human being? Who is that? So you're going to pretend you don't know Pascal? And you're asking me if Mr. Pascal is the name of an animal or a human being? I don't know. I don't need to pretend anything. I don't know who that is. Who is Mr. Pascal? Don't worry. It's okay. We shall see. I am not leaving this house for anybody. Who? I am not leaving this house for anybody. What nonsense! Don't tell me! Have you signed the divorce papers? What papers are you talking about? I can't sign any papers. I'm sorry. Please, I'm reading. I'm reading the Bible. I need to concentrate. Eleka, you need to sign those papers. Your stubbornness won't do you any good. 
You know, Charles, did you think for one minute what the trauma of this divorce will do to the kids? Did you think about it? Did you? Now she remembers she has kids. The same kids you stood up countless times, neglected, broke promises, left them in school to go frolic with a man that is not your husband. Now you put them into consideration? Now let me tell you, trust me, we'll be fine without you. We will be fine without you. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. We? Are we in French class? Oh, you think I am going to let you take my kids? Charles, you! You are sick. Our kids, and yes, because you have proven to be an incompetent parent. They don't deserve you. How dare you? Charles, how dare you even think of taking my kids? Let me tell you something. I carry them. I birthed them and I breastfed them. And in case you have amnesia, Alfred is not your biological son. That is just biology. I have taken care of that boy like mine since he was four years old. I legally adopted him. I know him better than you. Whether he's a son from my loins or not, he is still my son. You hear me? My son! It will be a cold day in hell. Day I let you take my kids. Try me! You guys hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. What do you want to eat? I want some noodles. Look, you always eat noodles. Don't you get tired? You have to know, Mom. Alfred. Yes, Mom. Take your sister upstairs. I want to speak to your father. Go on. Come on, guys. How dare you? you go to the kids school to tell them not to allow me to pick up my own kids. Why shouldn't I do that? Now tell me, why shouldn't I? Did you go to the kids school function? No, you don't. Now let me tell you something. You might have given birth to them, but you have never been a mother to them. Don't you dare, else I am not going to wait for the divorce to be over. I will throw you out of this house this minute. You are a devil. You are a devil. Honey, what are you doing here? to do this but for the sake of the kids you leave me with no choice I need you to sign those documents because you cannot win ditching Alfred on his birthday was the last straw What did I do that is so unpardonable? What if I say I'm sorry? Can we start on a, on a clean slate? No. This is the end for us.
Very well then. I'll sign the papers. But now it's out to fight. I will fight you with every drop of my blood for the custody of Diane. I am not leaving any of the kids with you. Not even Alfred. This is your son. He became mine the day I married you and adopted him. We shall see who wins. Good night. Mommy and I, uh, we are getting a divorce. Yes, Dad, we know. Divorce aren't actually soundproof. I am so sorry about that. I truly am. Friend, you told me you don't love Mommy anymore. Dad, please love Mommy again. Um, my princess. It's not that easy. You know, sometimes adults, you know, fall out of love. Dad, I overheard you and mom the other night. What mom did, is it true? Um. I don't want you and mom to get a divorce. I don't like it. Did you guys have fun? Yes, we had lots of fun. You want us to do that again? Yeah. Before we do... Alfred! Mommy! Alfred! Did you hear me call you? Alfred! Making me look bad in front of my kids. We're meeting the lawyers tomorrow. Don't forget. Don't be sad, mommy, okay? My love, I'm not sad. I'm just tired. Hmm? Okay. How was your outing? You want to tell me about it? Come tell me. How did he go? Did you do? Come in. Hey, child. Can I talk to you? Listen, I know this divorce issue is having a toll on not just me and your father. It's also affecting you guys. Your father is adamant about a peaceful resolution. Now listen up. Once the divorce is over, you and your sister are coming to live with me. I know things might not be the way it used to be, but your father will come visit him once in a week. Let's say Saturdays, just Saturdays. You know, it's just going to be us, you, your sister, and myself. How about that? Wait a minute, Mom. Did you really cheat on dad? What? Oh. Where is that coming from? Mom, 
Did you or did you not cheat on that? My champ. In life, this life, it's not all about black and white. Sometimes things don't happen the way we planned. But we move. Hmm? Mm. No. How could you do something so shameful? How could you do something to ruin our lives? Shut up! I dare you. Why are you being so dramatic? Dramatic? Did I just hear you say dramatic? Oh no, I am being dramatic! No, you ruin everything! Everything! It is not enough that you miss birthdays. My own birthday. It is not enough that you miss school functions and other important family celebrations. It is not enough that you keep late nights and ignore your kids. And you still come back to tear our home apart. Mom! I hate you! I hate you with everything I hold so dearly to my heart! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! What lies have you been telling my son about me? Hmm? Oh! You are scared of fighting fair, right? You are scared! Look at you! Look at this man! I call my husband. Eh? Yeah? Are you going to be standing there blabbing like a mad dog? Just you are the mad dog! In fact, you get out of cable! You are the mad dog! Let me tell you something though. You cannot put me against my son. It's not possible. I will fight you with everything I have. I will fight you with everything I have to have custody of my kids. What is it? Yes! Keep laughing! Like, open your teeth like a hyena or a goat. In fact, you're a goat. But let me tell you something. Let it sink in. I will have custody of my kids. I will do everything within my power to have custody of my kids. You, you cannot win this battle. You cannot win it. We shall see. We have seen everything though. We have seen everything. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, uh, you, you, you raised Alfred, you took care of him, uh -huh, and so, but that doesn't make him your biological son, it doesn't. What is this madness all about? What's all this nonsense? You what know, is all this? You know what, I am not going to argue with you, for they say silence is the best answer, not violence. If you like, scream this whole building down, you will lose. You are the one that have lost, you have lost, you are speaking English. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? You have lost! He goes! You want a divorce? I have given it to you! Nonsense! Stupid man! Useless man! Rubbish! You don't try to see it against me! Nonsense! Nonsense! Rubbish! Ew. Can you imagine? He wants to take my kids away from me? No, no, he thinks I don't know people. I gave birth to those children and he can never take them away from me. Never! Calm down. You don't tell me to calm down. That's, that is what will get me angry. That half man, that, that I, we both built everything he had together. He wants to throw me out. Can you imagine that useless man? He doesn't know that I know people like him. He doesn't even know anything. I will deal with him. Please Me? Please calm down. Please calm down. Huh? Listen. I need your help. Listen. I need you to get me a divorce lawyer. Someone who can help me win this case. I know you can do it. Me? Yes, you. Maybe 
But won't that complicate issues? It, everything is already out. Chief, I have nothing right now. You are the only person that can help me. Yes, you are my last option. But I equally have something to lose. My political ambition. Uh, Chief, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand what you mean by that. Okay. It's not that I cannot help you. Or I don't want to help you. But look, what about if they find out that that help is coming from my side? How will they find out? Will I carry loudspeaker and say to the world that you are the one helping me? No! No! It will further ruin the chances of getting the custody of your kids, which is what you want. Chief, it will not do anything like that. I know you are a, you're a powerful man. You are a strong man in this country. You can help me. I believe in you. That's it. You see, at least for now, we should not be seen together. It's for our own good. And having an affair with a married woman who ruined my political career and my name. Yeah. <laughs> Chief, stop. I'm, I'm serious. You're the only one right now I can think of that can help me. Chief, I know you have a lot of lawyers. Just give me the best one, please. Look, I think we should not be seen together. And well, that's fine now. Huh? It's not a nice word. How can I dump you? Look, let us apply wisdom here. Eh? Let's apply wisdom. Oh, I see. I see. The ship is sinking. And what came to your mind, your thought is to save yourself first? Equally on make you. It's best if we don't contact each other again. What's this thing Neka is telling me about? That you're asking for a divorce? Yes. Why? I thought you both were happy. We have not been happy for a very long time. If she told you about the divorce, why didn't she tell you reasons why? Charles, whatever these reasons are, I suggest you both work it out. For the sake of your kids. Do you know what broken homes do to children? Are you here to lecture me about my kids? Or to accept that your sister is not what she presents herself to be? Or to accept that the kids and I are better off without her? Charles, people make mistakes. And that's why there's forgiveness. Did you say mistakes? Yes. A mistake is when you step on one's toes accidentally. Not planning and then backing on a trip to Dubai with your sugar daddy. What? Why am I even surprised? She excluded that in her explanation, right? And let me tell you something. Your sister is not fit to be a wife. Or a mother. Dubai? I made hard copies 
of her with the sugar daddy. I have pictures, yes. I can send them to you so you can have a look. Oh my God. Nick, I didn't tell me it was this bad. She, she said it was only an office feeling. I... Oh God. Listen, Charles, please. For the sake of the kids, temper justice with mercy, please. I'm sorry there's no going back. Charles, Charles. Don't take the kids away from her. It would shatter her. It would destroy her. I am not going to leave my kids with her. Okay? Never. Now I have work to do. you you told me it was just an office fling so what is this i'm hearing sister please now why are you they shout why are you shouting as if it's not hard on me already as it should if it was left for me you should be going through worse by now yes i know charles is imperfect but who is so you would sacrifice your family for a flimsy trip to dubai and for a few minutes of pleasure are you kidding me Yes, I know of the trip to Dubai, and so does he. In that guy, he has pictures. He has proof. He's serious. What should I do? Is that not better than shouting at me? I think you should beg your husband. Yes, go on your knees and beg him. Roll on the floor if you have to, because you know what? If he fights for custody of those kids, he will win. If he presents his evidence of your cheating and negligence, he will win. Those kids are mine. And he's their father. Alfred isn't his. You're such an ingrate. Have you forgotten he adopted that child of yours with your consent since, and he has treated him as his since the first day you guys got married? Did you know that? I, Alfred is old enough to choose which parent he wants to be with and as it stands, he's not even talking to you. So what do you think? to apologize um, for everything I did. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, um, I just want us to, so I want you to forgive me. And we should, we should start all over again because of the kids. Apologizing right now would not make any difference. For the fact that it is coming so late and only because you got caught. I meant what I said. I meant it. I, 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 I promise I will not hurt you and the kids ever again. Let's just say, maybe for my sake, for my sanity, 
I don't need you in my life again. You know, I was thinking of sleeping on the same bed with you for the sake of the kids. But I think it's high time I started using the guest room. Well, yeah, until the divorce is finalized. to beg you for something. Okay, but well, first off, um, I want to ask you a question. Okay, but be quick. My show is about to start. No, oh, you're not going to miss your show, okay? Yeah, um, my love. Do you know what divorce means? Yes, Freddie told me when two people aren't in love anymore. Like you and daddy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I never knew my birth was a very smart kid. You're so smart. That's right. That's very correct. <laughs> but I don't like it. Well, 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 we divorce, okay? I am going to leave this house. Oh, but where will you go? Hmm. Well, um, mommy is going to move into a new house. Oh, can we come? Of course not, baby! You and Alfred are allowed to come, but not daddy. So he's going to be alone? Serves him right. <laughs> he's going to visit sometimes, you know. Now, what I wanted to beg you. Hmm? When they ask you, when they ask you who you want to live with, I want you to tell them you will live with mommy and not daddy. Okay, but who's going to pick me up from school? Me, of course. Me. I am going to pick you up from school, but I want you to tell them that you want to live with mommy and not daddy. Okay. okay. Come here, my baby. Oh, okay. oh my baby. I'm so ashamed of you. Sometimes I wonder if you're my mother. How could you try to sway her to your side? Now she is my daughter. You should be ashamed of yourself. You betrayed our family, your family. You don't choose who comes with you. You don't speak to me in that tone. I am still your mother. I wish you aren't. I hate you and I will never ever come with you. You know why? Because I am ashamed of you.
Yes, this is Mr. Charles Agumba. Please, do not allow anyone to pick my kids from the school apart from me. I will explain when I get there. Thank you. kids and I will not allow you to take them away from me. Okay. You're very stupid. Thank you. Let me have my khaki. What khaki? You are not worthy to be called a wife. Let me have my khakis. This cheap car. Your legs are buying, buying big, big cars. You're buying a cheap car. Let me have my cheap car. Take the khaki. Take it. No, get out. I will go. I will get go. Out I will go. I will buy Take this thing. I will go. Out of my house. Don't spray my bottle. Get out. Don't spray my box. Get, get out. Get, get out. Get out. Get out. Let me go. Get out of my house! I'm not going anywhere! Get out! Push I'll give you five minutes. If you're still here, the cops will come for you. Mm. Rubbish! They are my kids! They are my kids! Given a homework? Mm -hmm. uh, Princess, I'm really, really tired. Let Alfred help you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh. Alfred, don't you have homework? No, Dad. <sighs> Guys. So, um, mom won't be living with us anymore. What? What do you mean? She won't be here whilst we wait for the verdict from the court. 
Why I want mommy. Why did she leave before the divorce was finalized? Was she so eager to leave us behind? No, it, it, it's, it's not like that. I actually sent mom away. I sent her packing. Why? You would have waited to hear the court. Um. Would, would, will you still let us see her again? No matter what. She's still our mother. Um, Diane, can you go upstairs? I need to have a word with your brother. I want mommy. I know, you'll see mommy. Just go upstairs. Freddy, look. I never wanted our family to break up. But mom left me with no choice. I know she's wrong with her neglect, but she's still our mom. I know it's left for you to decide now for her to stay with you or not. But dad, you should have waited till the divorce is finalized. I, I, I wanted to. But, but what, Dad? What? She wanted to sneak you and Diane out of the country. What? Yes, she had all the documents ready. She, she, she wanted to do what? Dad, I'm not a baby. How does she think that will work out? Well, I, I'm guessing she was hoping to convince you. Dad, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You did nothing wrong. On my behalf, I know mom, I know she can be selfish sometimes, but... There's nothing to be sorry about, okay? You haven't done anything wrong. Come here. Dad. I know she thinks I hate her arm on your side. But I just want to I just want her to sit down and think about someone other than herself for, for one minute. I know, I know. Okay. Hmm? Okay. 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 Don't miss my mommy. I know. It's not that she's not going to be away forever, okay? You know that, right? <laughs> She will come see you, visit you, take you out, do whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you stop crying?
do something for me, okay? Um, I want you to go to your room, pack your clothes. You and mommy will go on a vacation, a little vacation. It's ready. If he wants, but just go and pack your things. Don't allow daddy to know, okay? All right, quick, go, 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 hurry up. I didn't do anything, I swear. I didn't open the door for anyone. Are you okay, princess? And who did you open the door for? Huh? Well, I miss my kids. How dare you trespass my home? Our home? What do you mean our home? It's our home! This is not your home anymore! I can see you are drunk. Christ, don't they worry you for head. Get out. Get out of where I am here to pick my kids! Pick which kids? My kids! You're not taking those kids anywhere! They are going with me! Damn it! Get out of this house! I am not going anywhere! Never. Get out. I'm not going anywhere! Get out! Get out. Drop that knife. Drop that knife before anyone gets hurt. Just cut it close. Try me. Drop it. Try me. Nigga, drop it. Just try me. Try me. Hold on, I'm coming. Who's banging on the door like that? Officer, that's him. That's the murderer. Take him away. What? The murderer, take him away. Arrest. For the murder of Mrs. Neka Agumba. Yes. What? Yes. No, uh, officers, please. I'm sure there's a mistake. There is no mistake. He killed my sister, so take him away. What are you talking about? Your child is here. Leave him alone. He's innocent. Uh, He's innocent. Officer, take him away. Me, I'm, 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 I'm Freddy, just. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll sort this out, okay? Yeah. Officer, take him away! Sure. Officer, please, please, can you just hear me out? My friend? <laughs> Diane, I'll, I'll come back soon, okay? Just wait for me. Can you recall what happened? She came into the house and tried to take our daughter away. And uh, we got into a fight. Why would she want to take her away? I mean, what prompted her action? We were in the middle of a custody battle. She tried to sneak the kids out of the country. 
I then sent her packing and changed the locks. We couldn't save her. By the time we got to the hospital, she had lost a lot of blood. I did not kill her. But you just admitted that you fought her with a knife. No, I, I did not fight her with it. I, she, she picked up the knife and I tried to take it from her. Mr. Charles, you had a motive. You were also seen at the crime scene. From all you said, all I can infer is that you just wanted to get rid of her. And then assume full custodial responsibility of those kids. What? No. That is cold. Why would I do that? The evidence on ground is overwhelming. Everything suggests that you murdered your wife. Unfortunately, she's not here to give her own side of the story. There's a witness. Who? My son. The son will probably not want to lose both parents. So, he will say anything to let you off the hook. If you had done your investigations properly, instead of listening to all that that bitch has been telling you, you would have known that Alfred is my stepson. Interesting. Tell me about it. I married his mother when he was four and brought him up as mine. Do you still think he's going to protect me even if I murdered his mother? But you know my dad is innocent. Fred, I am not the enemy here. Your dad killed your mother. He didn't kill her. He was only saving her. My mother killed herself. Fred! Diane. So you wanted to talk to me after dinner? Yes. Come. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. Um. Fred, I know you've been insisting that your foster father didn't kill your mom. But have you stopped to think that maybe you didn't see correctly that day? He's my father. And he'll always be my dad. Auntie, I have good eyesight. I, I, I know what I I know what I saw, and that's what I'm saying now. Well, I think you didn't see clearly. Maybe you used that means to get rid of my sister and take custody of her children. But Auntie, my dad didn't kill my mom. You're just trying to set him up for a crime he did not commit. We're talking about your mother here. Yes, I know she wasn't perfect, but I knew for a fact that she loved you both. Let's get justice for your mother. Do not allow her murderer go scot-free. At least let her find relief in the afterlife. She deserves that, doesn't she? But your mother is your blood. Charles isn't. He wanted her gone so bad he had to kill her. He's not your real father and there's no one that can take care of you apart from your biological parents. For all we know, he will just get married to another woman that will come in here and match with you and your sister. Is that what you want? But auntie, he didn't. Listen, your testimony will put the final nail on his coffin. Do you understand that? They'll believe you. But auntie, he didn't. He didn't kill my mom. You're the only witness we have, Fred. And whatever you say, they'll believe.
Is it true that he killed me? Don't say that! Where do you hear that from? I heard Auntie Amara is daddy going to jail. No, he's not going to jail. And don't worry yourself about anything like this, okay? It is fine. Just say it again, okay? I'm not going to be alone. What? Am I a stone? What am I? I'm not a stone. You know I'll always be there for you, okay? Yes, you're the best big brother. Okay, now go and watch your favorite show. But don't think about it, okay? Don't worry yourself. It's nothing. He's not your real father and there's no one that can take care of you apart from your biological parents. For all we know, he'll just get married to another woman that will come in here and match with you and your sister. Is that what you want? You're the only witness we have, Fred. And whatever you say, we believe. Why do I keep thinking about that? I will repeat. <sighs> to your question. Have you given thought to what I said? Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Tomorrow, I'll be taking you to the station. Okay? They need your statement there. Hmm? Okay. Don't be in a hurry to answer any question. Do not be in a hurry. Okay? Okay. If you don't understand any question, you know, Take your time, think about it before you answer. Okay. Questions are going to be very simple. So keep your answer simple. Just, just say he killed your mom, that's all. You don't need to go over all the events of that day. Just say he killed your mom. Okay? Okay. Don't worry. I'll be there for you. Don't be scared, okay? Okay. Auntie, what happens after that? Well, according to the law, murderers don't go free. Yes, so I'll be giving custody of you and your sister. I have to cater for you both till you're big, old enough to take care of yourselves. Okay, Auntie. So, do we need to go over possible questions you might be asked? I don't think so. I'm sure it won't be that difficult to answer. Are you sure? Yes. That's my problem. No problem. What's your problem? So, I'll take you to the station tomorrow and we have to set out early, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night, darling. Since you have no spirit of forgiveness, Charles, I'll give you a taste of your own medicine. Your own forgiveness cost me the only family member I have left. I'll take all the things you hold there. Bastard. You just have to be patient, okay? We are waiting for you, Auntie. You know, as a minor, you should have a parent or a guiding present during interrogation. Okay, but what about my dad? I haven't seen him since I came. Where is he? He's in our cell. But don't you think my dad should stay with me instead of my aunt? Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> it's not possible. Your father is the mother suspect in this case, okay? Besides, I will not want his presence to influence your testimony. Okay, but don't you think she can influence me too? What do you mean by that? Well, oh, I'm sorry. so sorry. You're I welcome. had to get the Diane set to the so yeah, you know. It's okay. You were saying something, Alfred? Nothing. Just get on with it. I want to go home. Okay, okay, that's good. I want you to calm down and answer whatever question I'm going to ask you, okay? For information, it's going to be on record. Mm? Yeah, of course. Oh, good. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Master Alfred, you are the son of the deceased. 
and the stepson of the suspect. I want you to tell us exactly what transpired on that fateful day. Well, that day I was in my room. I thought I heard some noise. Then I came out and bumped into Diane on her way to her room crying. When I asked her what was the problem, she said mom came home. I was in the kitchen with dad. So I ran to the kitchen. Then I saw my mom brandishing a knife before my dad. Drop that knife before anyone gets hurt. Just cut it close. Try me. Drop it. Try me. And I can drop it. Just try me. Try me. in jail. He cared about us. He was there. He cared for us. He was always there. sister and I know how manipulative you can be so I needed proof because you're bent on taking away my father 
she talks. Alfred, your story corroborates that of your father. We do not have any circumstantial evidence to detain him further. What? No, he's a child. What does he even know? As for you, the law must take its course. Okay? I will make you pay for lying and misleading the police. Inspector. Yeah. Please bring uh, Mr. Charles Agoma and yes, post his bail immediately. Yes, sir. So you can't do this. Have not killed my sister. Shut up. I missed you. I missed you too. Diane and I missed you so much. Are you okay? You know, not without you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Mr. Charles Agumba. Yes, sir. Your son's statement corroborates what you told us. You have been granted bail. You will go to the counter and pick up your personal belongings and uh, pick up your daughter. I have an unfinished no. business. No, no, he's guilty. He killed my sister. He's... Sweet home. I missed you, Dad. I'm so sorry, honey. I promise you'll never get close to you ever again. Okay, Dad, so I'll go get some snacks and uh, soft drinks. Alfred. That's good. Thank you. I know this must have been so hard on you guys. I am grateful. That is nothing. I was only telling the truth as you taught me. Even though you know my biological dad, I couldn't have asked for any other dad. The dad I want, the dad I need, and the dad I'm grateful I got. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Okay, so now. Who is the strongest dad in the world? You are. I am. I'm the strongest, right? I'm the strongest dad in the world. Yeah, you are. You look like the princess that you are. Yes, but princesses don't carry your stuff, but here I am carrying my stuff. I am so sorry, Your Highness. Daddy will carry that for you. Oh, please stop and go. So I'm jealous. Jealous of what? Your ugly face. Yeah. Hey, 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 can you guys stop that? Keep going. Huh? Let's get good before we miss our flight. Huh? You know, a lot has happened with us. We're taking a little vacation after mom's funeral. Hoping that when we get back, we'll make beautiful memories so that mom will be proud of us wherever she is, right? Yes, dad. That's good. Yes, we will. That's amazing. Oh, she's fine for her actions. <laughs> Diane, your mouth. Something felt so different, but never in a million years would I ever imagine that you would ever do this. How do you explain this? I still cannot believe it. I guess that I ignored the signs, but they were always there, no doubt. It's really hard to believe it Never thought there'll come a time We'll be saying goodbye Oh no, 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 no I guess that I ignore the 
signs, but there were always. There.